Don't worry, I'm not gonna play. I want you to think of your brand as your reputation. Anytime we say brand, just replace it with the word reputation. It's what comes to mind when someone hears your name or sees your logo or smells the food while they walk by your restaurant. Whatever it is, whatever comes to mind, whatever feelings, whatever thoughts, whatever memories come to mind when someone bumps into your company, that's your brand, that's your reputation. And so here at Emory, our philosophy is that good ideas deserve great reputations. What we mean by that is this, that if your company is genuinely good for the world, if it's a clever problem solving idea and it's anchored in goodness, then it deserves to have a great reputation. Your, your, your company deserves to have a great brand if what you're bringing to the world is genuinely good for the world and good for all those that interact with it. If what you're selling is the real deal and it's actually helping people become better versions of themselves or overcome problems or experience some sort of transformation, even in the simplest of ways, then it deserves to have its best possible shot out there in the marketplace. So let's talk your reputation for a minute. And this is the first moment where there's a bit of an interactive uh, exercise here an honest assessment of your current reputation versus where you want to be. Your current reputation versus your aspirational reputation. I'm reminded of the Stockdale Paradox, which is featured in a great book by Jim Collins. Uh, it's, it's about Admiral James Stockdale, who was a prisoner of war, and he was responsible for keeping his men alive while they were POWs. And as they, they endured years and years and years of hardship, and when he got out, they asked him how he did it, how did you lead these men through this uh, impossible difficulty, and he said it was both a brutal honesty about their present reality paired with an unwavering hope for tomorrow. Brutal honesty about today, but a hopeful outlook on what tomorrow is. And so let's take that Stockdale Paradox approach to your brand, to your reputation. Be honest about your current reputation warts and all. Do a little bit of a SWOT analysis of your strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats. Ask a friend or a trusted coworker or fellow entrepreneur how people might be perceiving you based on everything you've done up to this point. For better or worse, honesty, brutal honesty about the good things and the things where you're continually falling short. You can pause the video if you want and, and write down a little list, stream of consciousness. Now, I actually want you to do this, okay? So pause the video, write down brutal honesty about your current reputation. I'll wait. Okay, now let's shift gears. You've got your brutal honesty about your present reality. This is our starting point, warts and all. Now let's shift gears to our aspirational reputation. If you could design how people see you, how people think of your company, what would it be? How would you articulate that? What words would you choose? What other companies would you want to be associated with in their minds? Take a moment to dream about an aspirational reputation, be it six months down the road or six years down the road. What's the dream for your company? How do you want to be known? What do you want to be known for in the world? Take a moment, pause the video, write that out. Okay, so. The delta between those two points, the, the, the present reality and the aspirational future, that delta defines the scope of work ahead of you, okay, on your own. We understand that we can't force a reputation, we can't force people to believe something about us, but we can guide them in a certain direction to give it the best possible chance of happening. So if you've got your brutal honesty about today and you have your aspirational hope for tomorrow, then let's move forward into a philosophy that we employ here at Emory where we personify brands to look at it through that lens because that's how we might generate meaningful relationship between our companies and our customers.